Hello and welcome back to the quick recap on all the tutorials for the Red Paladin causing mayhem in arenas. Today we're going to be going over quickly of everything that we've learned during this adventure of the Red Paladin. That means talents, PvP talents, stat priority, Azurite traits, hard essence, gems, enchants, as well as revisiting the rotation. If you find this information helpful and would like additional information, click the subscribe button down below. There is weekly videos every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Comment down below if you have any questions on Rat Paladins or if you want me to look at any additional classes. All right, let's dive into it. Let's look at talents first. The first line we're going to be going with is Executioner's Sentence, followed by Blade of Wrath, Hammer of Just or Fist of Justice, Wake of Ashes, Unbreakable Spirit, Selfless Healer, Inquisition. For PvP talents, we go with Trinket. You can go with Relentless. Next, we are we have is Lawbringer, Law and Order, Hammer of Reckoning. You can also go with Blessing of Sanctuary. Stat priorities for the versatility versatility build is obviously strength, followed up with versatility, ace, crit, mastery, or mastery crit. For the crit build, you want to focus on strength, of course, crit, mastery, verse, ace. Now for Azurite traits, for the first two slots, you want to go with at least two Avengers Might, followed up with one Light's Decree. If you can get Heart of Darkness and you have over 25 Corruption, that would be perfect. Or we can go with one to two Empyrean Power. Third slot, you want to go with Overwhelming Power, Keating My Call, or Gut Ripper. Last slot is Long Strider or Resounding Protection. If you are going to the crit build, 2 to 3 Avengers Might, fall up with 1 to 2 Empyrean Power, 1 to 2 Expertiate, with 1 Light's Decree. And it goes the same for the 3rd and 4th slot. Part of Essence for the major slot, we want to go with Vision of Perfection, Blood of My Enemy, or Conflict and Strife. For minor slots, we want to go with Conflict and Strife, Breath of the Dying, Blood of My Enemy, Memory of Elusive Dreams, or Vision of Perfection. For Weapon and Chance, we can go with Deadly Navigation or Versatile Navigation. Ring and Chance, you want to go with ver Verse or Crit. Gems, we want to go with Deadly Lava Luzi or Versatile Dark Opal, depending on which build you're going with. And for the final step, the rotation review. For the verse build, we want to use Judgment or one Holy Power, and then use Blade of Justice to get enough Holy Powers to use three Holy Powers for Inquisition, giving us a 7% seven damage, 7 damage in buff for 45 seconds. We are then going to and then we're going to go through our rotation to get enough holy power to use Executioner's Sentence. At all times, we want to make sure that we have Inquisition up, so we're going to spend 3 holy power to get that 7% damage buff increase as well as haste buff. When we spend 3 holy power on Inquisition, we're going to have this buff for 45 seconds. For our kill target window, we are going to make sure that we have enough holy power 3 for Executioner Sentence. After we're using Executioner Sentence, we're going to hit them with a Judgment, followed up with Avenging Wrath, using Wake of Ashes, and then finally using Templar's Verdict. It's going to look something like this. We're going to cast Judgment into Blade of Justice, Inquisition for the three holy power use. We're going to use Crusader Strike and then we're going to wait until we have enough holy power up. 
Once we have enough holy power, we are going to pop Executioner's Calling. We're going to pop Executioner's Calling into Venture Grab, Wake of Ashes, and then we're going to hit them with a Templar's Verdict. Templar's Verdict. going to look a little something like that. I casted five Templars Verdict during that 45 second set. Four of them hit as a critical strike, averaging at 144,000 damage, maxing out at 175,000. Although this is on a dummy, you can see roughly what it's going to be like in PvP arenas. That is it for this final video on Rep Paladin Recap. Remember there is weekly videos every Wednesday at 8pm Eastern. Hit the subscribe button and get notifications on my next videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. This is Fox0G giving you Rep Paladin information.